my name is Sheila. Today I have a flow for you cyclists out there or anybody that wants to work on stretching the neck, shoulders, hips, and hammies. This one's for you. So join me on the mat. We'll get started in a comfortable cross-legged position. So whatever that is for you. And rooting down into your sit bones, sometimes I like to move the flesh out of the way. Lifting up through the crown of the head, draw your shoulders up, back, and down. Closing your eyes and bringing your eye gaze between your eyebrows. And just start to bring awareness inward, focusing on your breath. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Allowing yourself to transition from whatever was happening before you turn this video on, before you sat down. Maybe you were cycling, maybe your shoulders and your hips are really bothering you right now, or your lower back, all of those, all or any of those things. This should help. We'll take a big inhale, take our hands, interlace our palms, press it up to the ceiling, create some length and space in the spine, growing nice and tall, and then exhale, rounding the spine, bringing the chin to the chest, pressing the palms away, then inhale, opening up the heart, reaching back, like, oh, how wonderful it is to practice with Sheila today. And turning the palms away from you, interlacing at the base of your spine, at your sacrum. Roll the heads of your shoulder blades back. Press through your fingers, through your knuckles, towards the mat. Opening up the chest, opening up the heart. You can bring your eye gaze up. We're going to inhale, and then we're going to slowly hinge forward. Not a super deep forward fall, just enough to feel sensation. Allow the neck to be Nice and released. Nice and relaxed. And now slowly releasing the hands. You can check it out. Very good. We're going to inhale. Arms overhead, then reaching for opposite elbow. Feel a nice stretch to the shoulder. Inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, side body stretch, just a gentle side tilt over towards your left, rooting that right sit bone into the mat. And then inhale, reaching the arms nice and long. Exhale, bending your left elbow, reaching for your left elbow with your right hand. And then breathing into that left lung as you stretch over to your right. Allow the neck to be released, especially if it feels tight. Stiff or sore. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, bringing your left arm. And then taking your right arm across the body. Make a little forklift by bending your left elbow. And then just slowly here, depending on how tight your chest is, from how far you've ridden or how many miles you've ridden this week or today, might feel the sensation immediately through your shoulder, through your chest, and just breathe. Good, then inhale, open up, let it release. And then exhale, cross your left arm, cross your body, right elbow bends. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, stretch your left shoulder. And you might notice that one side is much has more sensation or stiffer or tighter and that's okay just breathe into those places and play your edge of discomfort whatever that is today it might not be what it was yesterday and that's fine and then release open up the heart again like bringing your eye gaze up and then exhale placing your hands on your knees we'll come into a few shoulder circles so starting by bringing your chin towards your chest, your clavicle. You can feel a nice stretch through the back of your neck. 
and then slowly bringing your eye gaze up, 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 feel a stretch through here, just nice and easing into it. Inhaling up, exhale down, we'll do that one more time and then we're going to bring our head, turning it side to side. So coming to neutral, looking over to your left, coming to center over to the right, over to the left, and then over to the right. Just noticing any areas that this feels tight or uncomfortable and playing your edge of discomfort. So now we're going to do half moon circles. So chin to the chest, left ear, left shoulder. So it just swivels and we're then going to bring the right ear to the right shoulder. So just taking a few half moon circles here and if you feel anything going on, any snap, crackle, pop or any areas that you want to stretch a little longer, you could hold it you have the option here to take it in two full circles three times one way and then switching it up going the opposite way so no hurry try to keep the shoulders drawing down the back so they're not lifting up towards the ears and one more The center. We'll take the ear, the left ear to the left shoulder, and then reaching right fingertips out. If you want to deepen this, you can take the left hand, reach around for the right temple, and then press your head into your hand. Keep reaching out with the right fingertips. You should feel a stretch to the side of your neck here. I know my neck gets really tight when I'm hunched over on my handlebars. For a few hours at a time. Good, and then switching sides, right ear, right shoulder, and comes over, reach out through your left fingertips, and breathe. Just staying focused on your breath, staying aware of what your body's telling you, and I'll turn around for this one, reaching around for your right wrist and then <clears throat> bringing your right ear towards your right shoulder. Just feeling a stretch to the side body and then switching, reaching and stretching. So you're pulling the arm away and then taking your left ear towards your left shoulder. hands right behind your hips, roll down to your shoulder blades back, press your chest wide open. Good, and then slowly start to fold forward. Now the neck to release. And then inhale, coming up. Extend your legs forward. Your hamstrings may be really tight or maybe they're not. If they are, you can keep your knees bent. We're going to inhale, keep the spine nice and long, leading with the heart, hinging at the hips. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinging. So we're not rounding, we're hinging forward, thinking hinge, the fold comes from the pelvis. If you're walking the hands out, keep lengthening the spine and folding. Maybe you can reach your ankles. Maybe you're feeling good and you can straighten your legs out. But just being very gentle, being mindful of the body. You can, if you can reach your toes, you can give yourself a little massage. <laughs> very good. And my little dog's over here snoring. It's very cute. And then we'll slowly come up. Roll the shoulders back, roll them back. Nice big circles, maybe one at a time. And then one forward. And then bring them up. 
scrunch, 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 and release. Go ahead, again, bring them up to the ears, squeeze, and release one more time. Up to the ears, squeeze so tight, and release. We're coming to lying on our back. And you can fast forward if you don't have blocks. If you have blocks, we're gonna do two supported poses, one for the opening of the heart and the chest and the other for the lower back. One is gonna go in line with the shoulder blades. So, or if you're a lady, where your bra strap line is. So you're gonna place it here, about there, and then slowly roll down onto your back and then Allow your chest to open up here. Maybe bring the soles of the feet together. If your head does not reach, you can take the second block and place it so your head is supported here. And then just breathe in and out through your nose. Scan your body, check in, give yourself a little diagnostic check up noticing areas that feel tight areas that feel sore areas that feel open or tired and just noting it without judgment without attachment to the outcome just allowing it to be allowing your breath to guide you Allow the breath to energetically send those places in your body that feel sore or tight or uneasy. Some love and compassion and permission to let go. Staying here for as long as you like. We're going to move on. So to come out of this, you can roll onto your side. Remove the blocks, zah, plural. And then come to lying on your back for a moment. And just taking a moment to reassess, just noticing any changes, noticing how you feel. And then coming into supported bridge. So taking your block, and we're gonna place it at the base of the spine. So hip, feet are hip distance, they're in line with your, your heels are in line with your hips. You're gonna press into your heels and place the block right at your sacrum. So that flat part behind, on your behind, <laughs> on your back. So just staying here, keeping the back of your neck long. We're taking pressure off the spine. So we're creating space between the vertebra by not having so much compression on the cervical spine, the lower spine rather. And you have the option of bending the knee and placing, placing it straight into the ceiling. And you can switch sides. And then maybe if you want more, you can bring both of your legs together, bring both legs up to the ceiling. And just noticing if that changes anything, if that feels good, or if it doesn't. So every day is differently and just honoring your body, doing what feels right for you today. It, every day it changes. So just being content where you are in this present moment. So we'll bend the knees and then walk the feet out just noticing the expansion through the front of the body and how that changes the sensation in your spine. Again, if you have any shooting, sharp pain, back away. That's your body telling you to stop. <laughs> and then we'll come out of it. So we come out of it, this way we enter, lift the hips up, remove the block, place the block out of the picture, hug the knees into the chest here, squeeze, you can rock from side to side, I like to make circles with my knees on the ceiling, it 
takes you from massaging lower back to upper back, and then you can go the opposite way. Very good. And then extending your, your left leg up to the ceiling. Interlacing your hands behind your thigh, point and flex the foot, circle the ankle, circle it the other way. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> Walk your hands up your calf, maybe if this feels okay, and you're able to keep the hip, keep drawing the hip into the hip socket. It wants to lift, lift. you want to keep it down. If that requires you keeping this leg bent, the opposite leg bent, then keep it bent. If you can keep both hips down, you can extend the other leg if it feels okay. Maybe walking your hands up to your feet. Maybe bringing the nose to the knee or the knee to the nose. Maybe, maybe, maybe you give it a kiss. <laughs> and then slowly release, switching sides, extending the leg point and flex the foot, curl the toes, circle your ankles, circle the other way. Walk your hands up, your calf, lengthen the tailbone down. Maybe start to extend the other leg, feel how it changes, the sensation and where you feel it. Maybe start to walk your hands up to your feet, bring your nose to your knee, give it a little kiss, kissy poo. We don't want one side getting the kiss and not the other, so you might just blow it a kiss. <laughs> And then slowly release. Just noticing both hamstrings feel lengthened and they're happy. We're gonna come into a figure four. So let's get into the hips flexing, your feet crossing the left ankle over the right knee, drawing the right knee into the chest as you hold on to the right thigh. And then lengthening the tailbone down. So you have these opposing forces, the pulling, and pushing, <clears throat> just like everything, the yin and the yang of life. Good, and then we'll switch sides, crossing right ankle right above left knee. Thread the needle, reach your hands between your legs, holding on to the back of your knee, flexing your feet, drawing the left knee into the chest, lengthening the tailbone down. You can use your right elbow on the inside of the right thigh to extra open it and then placing the feet down crossing at your at your knees like you're wearing a dress and then dropping your knees over to the right or in this case over to your left bring the eye gaze over to the right feel that stretch through the hip through the it band and then come to center, switch the crossing. So this time right over left or whatever side you didn't, you haven't done. And then twisting over to your right, really rooting that left shoulder down. And you can use your right hand to play with this, to add more pressure to the left leg, to see where the stretch moves to. I feel it up here in my hip flexor so and then coming out of that and crossing the legs bring your hands behind your knees rock forward and back doing a few rolling like a ball good and then coming all the way up to all fours position starting in tabletop we'll do a few rounds of cat cow to bring articulation to the spine making sure fingers are spread evenly, the creases of your wrist are parallel with the short end of the mat. Drop your belly, inhale, eye gaze up. Exhale, rounding the spine, bringing the chin to the chest. Navel draws in, inhale, eye gaze up. Exhale, rounding. Good, two more like that, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Good, coming to center. 
extending the right leg, rounding your spine, and then placing your right foot to the inside of your right hand. So this is a really great one to stretch the hip flexors and breathing. You want to make sure the knee stays stacked over the ankle. You don't want it to be like this. So if you have, if the foot didn't make it all the way to the top of the mat, give it a little ride to the top. And then coming back into the runner's lunge, hips stack over, knees fold forward. And coming forward, coming into a twist, reading down into that left hand, reaching, reaching right fingertips up. And then slowly start to revolve your heart. Keep that, your neck relaxed. We don't want to stress the neck right now. And then bending the right knee, reaching around for the, or bending, the right knee's already bent. Bending the left knee, reaching around for that left foot. Feeling a good quadricep stretch here. Then releasing. And coming up into a lunge. You know, and that stretch through the calf here. Good. And then we're going to root down into our hands. Draw the navel in. And we're going to step back into a plank. Top of a push-up. Extending through the crown of the head. Forward onto the toes. We're gonna bend the elbows, slowly lower down to chaturanga, then all the way down. Roll the heads of the shoulder blades back, press into the tops of the feet, come into a cobra. Good. Exhale, press the hips back into a child's pose, bringing the forehead to the mat. Keeping the knees a little bit wider than hip distance to really stretch through the hips. Slowly coming forward, extend the left leg, round the spine, think knee to nose, place the left foot to the inside of the left hand, breathe into that right hip here, keep drawing the left hip back, right hip forward, keep the spine long, and then drawing the hips back, coming into that runner's lunge, making sure your Hips stay stuck over your knees, folding forward. Good, then inhale, come forward, start to twist. Stacking right arm on top of left. Notice if you started to sink down into that right arm, press the earth away, draw the right shoulder into the shoulder socket. Start to revolve the heart. And rolling forward onto the right knee. This time, reaching around for the Right foot with your left hand. You can play around with it here. And then a yummy, yummy, yummy stretch. And then release, bringing your hands. So they're framing your left foot, lifting the right knee, feeling a stretch through the right calf for a high lunge. Good, and then we'll step back into our plank. And then lift the hips up and back, coming into a downward facing dog. So hands are shoulder width, feet are hip distance. You can bend one heel, press the opposite heel down by lifting one, pedaling it out, pedaling it out, and lifting both up, both heels up, hips back, head long, drawing the eyes of the uh, um, Eyes of the elbows forward and then sinking the heels down. Inhale, right leg up. As you exhale, bending the knee, opening up the hip. Good, then inhale, square the hip. And as you exhale, coming into a single pigeon, bringing your right knee behind your right wrist. Yes, you're doing a great job here, yogis. So just checking, making sure that you're Left leg is parallel with, with the long end of the mat. Your hips are square. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, start to hinge it forward. And walk the arms out. You can bend the elbows here if that feels good. If 
you want to get into a nice juicy shoulder opener, take the left arm up and then exhale, thread the needle. So bring it underneath your right arm, walking your hands away from you. And then slowly you can stay here. If you want to take it into a bind, reaching the right hand up, turning the palm away, bending at the elbow, reaching around for the hip. Maybe it touches the toe, maybe not, but this is a huge shoulder opener here. And hips. And breathing, knowing that you're doing a great job. Seeing what part of the body you can work less. Where can you send the breath to help melt the tension? Help dissolve the stress? Help release anything that you're holding on to that no longer serves you. Allowing the breath to really be a powerful anchor for this moment in time, keeping you present and aware. Good. And then coming out of the bind, pressing the earth away. And then we'll tuck the toes under, step back into that downward facing dog. Good, this time, keeping the navel drawing in, keep pressing the earth away. Neck is nice and long, lifting the left leg up, opening up the hip, bending the knee, looking underneath your right armpit, under your left armpit, feeling a great stretch through the front of the hip. And then inhale, Square the hip, exhale, keeping the knee bent, place the bent knee in line with the left wrist. Slowly start to walk the hip back if that's for you. If this is too much, if you're like, oh my gosh, this is killing me, you can use a block here to keep you from falling over to the side. Or if you just have knee issues, knee pain. And if you do have something going on to your knee, going on in your knee, then repeat figure four that we did on our backs. So I'll just keep it here just for... So inhale, open up the heart. Exhale, walk your hands up. Maybe stay here for the whole time. Or if you want to get in that shoulder, which you probably do, threading the needle, threading right shoulder underneath left, using that left hand to help roll you over onto that right shoulder, then you can reach the left hand up, turning the palm away from you, bending at the elbow, and maybe binding. This side, I got my toe. So, Again, each side's different. One hip is usually more open than the other. And that's just a fact of life. We tend to favor one side of our body than the other. Yoga allows us to be aware of that and become more conscious. So when we notice that we're standing in line and we're just like dumping all of our weight into one hip, we can refocus and redistribute our weight. So like when we're in mountain pose in Tadasana, we're evenly rooting down on the all, all four squares of each feet. <laughs> so these are great lessons that we learn on the mat that we take with us into the world, into our lives to make it more magical and to live healthier, stronger, more balanced lives with injury free. Ah, it's wonderful. <laughs> one more breath here and then coming out of it like you got into it releasing that arm and we're gonna remove the block if you have a block and dropping now we're gonna drop into the left hip take that right leg and sweep it around cross the left over the left knee knee conditions extend the bottom leg rooting down with your right hand behind you inhale left fingertips up to the ceiling 
As you exhale, we're gonna twist over towards our right leg, hooking the elbow, pressing that right hip into the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, revolve from the belly button, the ribs, the shoulders, and the headrest. Good, and if you wanna get into the IT band, you can reach around for the pinky edge of the right foot extending the leg, stretching across the body, lifting up through the crown of your head. Very good. And really switching sides, tucking that right heel in line with the left hip. Left leg crosses, reading down evenly through both hips. Inhale, right fingertips. Exhale, twisting over towards your left. Each inhale, you create space in your spine. Each exhale, you revolve and twist and rinse and repeat. If you took the, the modification or the variation for the IT band, you can do it again here. If your knee's bent, that's okay. As long as you're feeling sensation through the IT band. Breath, keep lifting and shining. You're doing beautifully. And release. Very good. Taking the soles of the feet for one last stretch for Baddha Konasana, bound angle. So you can massage your toes here, give them some love, give your feet some love. You can stay here, you can fold it forward, pressing your elbows into your thighs. Notice if you start to scrunch up, you really want to keep the neck nice and long. Good, and then taking the legs, closing the little clams shell, and finding your way onto your back for final relaxation. You deserve this. Give yourself at least one minute to lie here and allow your body to absorb all the wonderful benefits of your practice today. Legs, spread them wide. <clears throat> Take up a lot of space here. Allow your toes to roll out. Palms facing up. Shoulders soften away from ears. Allow your lower back to release towards the mat. Bring your eye gaze between your eyebrows. Allow your tongue to drop away from the roof of your mouth. Allow your facial muscles to completely relax. And breathe. Feeling your bones getting heavy, feeling supported by Mother Earth and all her beauty and strength and love. Feel a moment of surrender here. You've worked really hard today. You should be very proud of yourself. Allow the breath to wash over you like a nice, refreshing wave. And if you fall asleep like Priscilla, that's okay. Stay here for as long as you like. When you're ready, hugging the knees into your chest, giving yourself a big squeeze, thanking your body for showing up, for practicing yoga, dropping your knees to the side, Press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Sealing the practice in with an ohm together. Big inhale to prepare. honors and respects the light within you. And that's what I mean when I say namaste. Thank you. Please subscribe. Have a great day.